What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, today I want to talk about how to lose weight. So first we're going to get into how our bodies burn fat, and then I want to talk about the two best diets out there that can help us with this. And I'll give you the details on them, and you can figure out which one you think will work best for you. All right, first of all, I just want to say losing weight, the science of it is actually really simple. It's just basic math. Now the process can be hard. It could take a lot of willpower, a lot of dedication, but the science of it, how it works is simple. You simply got to eat less calories than you eat. That's it. I mean, let's just take a common sense to all these diets that are out there and look at them and see why is it that they work. I know a lot of them claim that, oh, you eat these foods and you'll lose weight or you stay away from those foods and you'll lose weight. It's really not about what you eat. It's about how much you eat. I mean, if it wasn't that, then how could diets that are almost opposite of each other both get you results? You'll see things like paleo, where people eat almost all meat, and then you have something like a vegan who eats absolutely no meat. But both of these people are both getting results on their diet. You know why? Because both of the diets restrict certain foods. So at the end of the day, both diets cause you to end up being in a caloric deficit. You end up eating less calories than what you consume. So if we understand that, we understand that we won't have to use fad diets or restrictive diets, diets that restrict a whole food groups. And that's why my favorite diet is flexible dieting, but I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, I just want to get further into exactly how it works, exactly how our bodies burn fat. Whenever our bodies perform any type of task, it requires energy. We get that energy in the form of calories. The calories come from the food we eat. If we don't have calories available, our body will tap into stored fat and use the fat for energy. And this is how we burn fat and lose weight. So at the end of the day, like I said, it all comes down to if you consume less calories than you use, then you burn for energy. If you burn more calories than you consume, your body will tap into stored fat and you'll end up losing fat, losing weight, burning fat, and getting the desired result you're looking for. You see, it's really simple. So that's why, like I said, my favorite style of dieting is what's called flexible dieting. Now, with this style of dieting, you could pretty much, pretty much eat anything you want. You just got to make sure you're eating less than what you burn. The only reason a lot of people will shy away from this diet is because in order to know that you're eating less than what you um, burn, you got to track your calories. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Me personally, I would rather spend a minute or two minutes on my phone while I'm eating so that way while I'm eating I get to eat whatever I want. To me it's not a big deal just to write down how many calories, to look up real quick on the internet how many calories are in the food I'm eating and then keep it on a little log of that. To me that's not a big deal but for some people that might be too much. They might think it's too much of a hassle, they just want to have a diet where they could know I stay away from certain foods, I can eat these foods and I don't got to worry about counting the calories. And for those people... There's certain foods that you can eat that are very hard to overeat on. These foods are nutrient dense, they're low on calories, high in fiber. You can eat these foods and you'll most most times you'll get full before you can even come close to overeating. And I'm talking about foods like chicken breast, white fish, lean beef, turkey, um, fruits and vegetables, oatmeal brown rice, sweet potatoes, whole grain breads, these foods will fill you up. And like I said, it's very hard to overeat. And then you want to drink like water and diet drinks, drinks with zero calories or very low calories. Now, like I said, the benefit of this diet is you don't have to worry about counting calories. The downside of this diet is there's a lot of foods you might love that you're going to have to stay away from. So it's going to take a little bit of willpower or depending on how much you love those foods, it might take a lot of willpower. That's why for me, I like to just do flexible dieting and just spend a few extra minutes a day tracking my calories. Now, there are like a lot of people will call the second type of dieting I told you about, they would call that clean eating. I'm not calling it clean eating because with clean eating, people think you could eat any clean food. You could eat any 
nutritional food, healthy food, and don't have to worry about tracking calories. It doesn't work like that. I don't care how healthy a food is. If you overeat with that food, you will gain weight. And now there's a lot of so-called clean foods, healthy foods, nutritional foods that are calorically dense foods and are very easy to overeat on. These are foods like salmon. Salmon is calorically dense. It's very easy to overeat with it while it's a very healthy food. And if you're doing flexible dieting, it's something good to get into your diet. If you're not tracking calories, you're going to want to avoid foods like that. Also, almonds. People who are um, that, that adhere to clean eating love having almonds for snacks. Well, if you look at the amount of calories on almonds, they're very calorically dense. You're going to want to stay away from stuff like that if you're not tracking calories. Uh, any type of nuts, really. Some people um, like to put a scoop of peanut butter into their oatmeal or something. Now, peanut butter is not bad for you, but the problem is one tablespoon of peanut butter has around 100 calories, and that's a flat tablespoon. So if we're talking about around a tablespoon, it's getting closer to 200 calories. And just think, it takes about an hour to burn 400 calories. You're giving half of that back with one scoop of peanut butter, that's why you gotta be very careful. And another thing is butter and oils. Be careful how you're cooking your foods. If you're frying your foods, you're getting a lot of calories in the oil, so you're gonna wanna, um, grill or bake your foods, but even with the butter, if you're putting butter on the food that you're grilling or baking, only this much butter has 100 calories. So think about it. It's very easy to get more calories from the butter that you're putting on top of your food than from the actual food that you're eating. If you put a little butter on top of your chicken, you've got to be careful. If you put butter on your sweet potato, you've got to be careful. So like I said, if you don't want to track calories, Stick into these foods, foods that are um, high in fiber and low in calories, you, you can do that. You can avoid tracking calories and still lose weight. If you want to be able to eat anything you want and you don't mind spending the time tracking your calories and you want to figure out how many calories you're able to eat and still lose weight, I have a video on how to set your calories to be in a caloric deficit and I'll link that below in the description box. All right, if you have any questions, comment below. And listen, please do me a favor. Stay away from all the fat stuff. I know they make it sound so good. And what I'm telling you is just simple. It doesn't, it's like maybe not appealing, not sexy enough. It's just like old, simple, boring stuff. But the old stuff, the true stuff, it works. It's old and true because it's tried and true. It works. It's been around for a long time for a reason because it actually works. All these fad diets, especially the detoxes and cleanses, stay away from all that stuff. It's all fads. It's all a way for people to make money and sell books. And a lot of people have been duped and they bought into it and now they're trying to sell you on it. At the end of the day, it all comes down to if you're eating less than your body is using, you'll lose weight. If you eat more than your body's using, you're going to gain weight. All right. Until next time, take care.